everybody, it's Crystal Ann Compton. How are you doing today? I hope you're having a beautiful day wherever you are on the planet today. I am coming at you in this video with a three card oracle reading and I have a couple of instructions before we begin. First and foremost, I want you to think on something right now that you really want an answer to. Maybe it's, is this person good for me or is the situation what I think that it is or is something else going on or should I stay in my marriage or should I take this course like whatever you might have a question around I want you to think on that right now and hold that in your awareness okay so that you sort of have an idea what you want spirit to answer for you the second thing I want to instruct you on is simply to pay attention to what happens as I hold up these three cards I want you to pay attention to anything that happens in your body, mind, and spirit. If there's a magnetic tug within you toward a card, pay attention to that. If you suddenly see something flash in your mind's eye, maybe the number one, two, or three, or if you hear something with your inner voice, the number one, two, or three, like pay attention to that. That's all very important. And also, if all of a sudden you just know, oh, it's card number three, before I even show it or as I show it, Pay attention to that too, because that is claircognizance. And these are just different ways that spirit likes to talk to us. So pay attention to everything that happens. And that first impression that you get is typically, almost always actually, the right answer. So go with the first thing you get. Now, some of you might be actually attracted to more than one card. This is normal too. That means that both cards complement each other in the answer that spirit is giving to you. So listen closely to the answers as I give them and try to quilt them together or cobble them together to see what the broader answer is for you that's coming through from spirit. Last but not least, please remember that spirit is non-local, meaning it doesn't exist inside of our mind, body, spirit. It doesn't even exist in this 3D reality. I mean, it exists here, but it's not from here. Spirit exists outside of dimensional reality. Spirit exists outside of this universe. In fact, spirit stands outside of all of that. So it doesn't matter, is what I'm saying, if you're watching this video today with me or this week or next month or two years from now, if you hold in your heart a question, then the cards that are gonna be shown to you will have an answer for you. So just keep that in mind, that spirit is speaking to you all the time, even now, no matter how far down the road you are watching this from the time that I am uploading it. All right, are you ready? I'm gonna show you three different cards. I want you to pay attention to them and what you're feeling, okay? First card. Pay attention to what you're feeling, what you're seeing, what you may be hearing. Is there a tone or a frequency? Pay attention to what you know about this card and how you feel in terms of connection. This is card number one. Card number one. All right. Card number two contains answers for some of you, answers that you really need to hear right now. Card number two. How does this feel for you? You picking up on anything? Card number two. And last but not least, card number three. Card number three. How do you feel about this one? Make a note of anything that comes into your awareness. Card number three. Beautiful. All right, let's just go through them quickly again. Card number one, bada bing. Card number two, bada boom. <laughs> and card number three, bada bing, bada boom. All right, what I want you to do now is trust yourself. Trust yourself. 
Whenever we ask spirit a question, whenever we ask the divine a question, it always answers. Knock and the door shall be opened unto you. Ask and it shall be given. So we have to trust that the answers are coming in right now. And as a sign of your faith and as a sign of your trust, that you trust spirit, what I want you to do is drop down into the comment section right now as you're watching me and tell me what card. Tell me what card you've been attracted to or which card resonates with you. Just say number one, number two, number three. You can maybe tell us how it's resonating with you. Maybe you did see a clairvoyant image. Maybe you did hear a frequency or feel that magnetic tug. Just trust it and document it. Now, if you felt more than one card, you can put card number one and two with card number one being a little stronger or card number two being a little stronger. But just comment now and then after I reveal them to you, I want you to drop down underneath your own comment and tell me if and how that makes sense to you. You don't have to tell me your story. You don't have to share those personal details, but I just, I want to hear whether the card makes sense and how it actually answers some of these questions, okay? All right, let's start with card number one, which is Morning Star. Morning Star. This is the answer that the card Morning Star gives to you. This situation or condition or experience that you're inquiring about is in alignment with your higher self. Meditate on this symbol to access your higher power when having to make important decisions. You can always orient yourself north to the morning star and be assured that you will make the decision that's for your highest good. The morning star is the brightest star on the dawn's horizon. It's considered an important spirit and honored as a kachina with most Pueblo Indians. Plains and Great Basin Indians honored it as a sign of courage and purity of spirit. The ghost dance religion associated it as a symbol of the coming renewal of tradition. Morning star. And that was a lot of words, but I want you to really sift through those words and the meaning of this card and see where the answer is for you. And don't forget to share that. Okay, moving on to card number two. How many of you selected card number two? This card is new moon, new moon. The answer that this card gives you is new beginnings you are about to encounter a fresh start. This is an auspicious time to start new projects. Meditate on this at the new moon to bring new energy into your life. Write a list of intentions, dreams, and goals, and wishes to support your new direction, keeping in mind, of course, that the actual physical act of writing is a way that embeds our intention the intention is a thought with substance, a thought with a direction. When we write out that thought with direction, which is an intention, we actually embed that in our awareness and we give it the roots it needs to grow. So write down your dreams, write down your wishes as this fresh start is coming into your life. New moon. All right. Last but not least, I think I have to flip back here. Yeah, here we go. How many of you got the third card, card number three? This card is air, air. Logical thinking and reasoning are required of you at this time. You may also need more information before proceeding in any direction. Call on the element of air to help you in finding healthy resolutions. Meditate with this symbol to call on more of the air element in your life, to enhance logical thought, and inspire new ideas. Use incense and letter writing to enhance the power of this element. This is the alchemical symbol for the element of air. There you go. Card number one, morning star. Card number two, new moon. And card number three, air. All of these had pretty powerful answers. And again, I'd love for you to let me know which card you selected and also let me know if the cards resonated with you and how. All right. On that note, I leave you to this day, my friends. I hope you're having 
just a lovely day wherever you are on the planet today, but I just want you to know that I realize that I've been a little quiet lately, and that's because we've got a lot going on coming up. We have the retreat that's that's taking place at the end of August, August 30th in Loveland, Colorado. I'm going to be there for four nights and five days along with some of my teachers and facilitators, and we're going to have just a fantastic blissed out retreat so I'm preparing for that but we've just also had a lot going on in the life lately but I just want to thank each and every one of you for reaching out for letting me know that you're thinking about me for letting me know that you care there will be more updates from Crystal Ann Compton soon don't you worry about it but much love to you have a beautiful day bye guys